But yeah, I have been a puffin. It's a little warm. Not too breezy, but warm. And that's why we didn't want to get over full at dinner. And I kind of did a little bit with that steak. So I got to take my time and walk. Baby, when I get back to North Carolina, I fly out on Friday. I both work on Saturday. I don't know if that's going to happen. Because I'm going to need some rent. Now, reason being, remember I tell y'all I had some things that happened? And I had the wheelchair. Guess who? Y'all know I have to charge my leg every night, right? Guess who leave that charger in North Carolina? So I ain't even walking right. The leg is in lock mode. And when I tell y'all, I push and do and I make it happen. But baby, when I go to lay down at night, my lower back to the left be on fire. How on the... When would I tell y'all that my man, my man, and somebody that just got your back or home girl? Fuck, I leave the whole charger. That's the third time I done did that. I left it down in Charleston one time. My sister had to overnight it to me. Left it in North Carolina, went home to Charleston. But I was going back home in two days. So you got a two day battery life. By Monday night, sitting at the dinner table, I could hear it buzzing. Today is Wednesday night. So I've been in Lockmore for two nights out there in the streets in the Bahamas, walking around. When I tell y'all, I just a mother and G and making it work. Because one thing y'all don't hear me do, and that's complain. That's going to be what it's going to be. So the boardwalk rooms are really nice. So if you stay at a boardwalk room, you really get to see all of this. Even the aqua show. Okay, made it into the aqua show. Standby only. They got a standby line. Baby, in the with me and this lady waiting in that line. I told the young girl, I knocked on my leg. I said, do you hear that? I said, nah, I don't flex the handicap part. I said, baby, I can't. She said, go ahead and thank you. Why'd you want to voice over this part and turn the volume down on the footage here on low so I can voice over? I want you all to get the essence of the aqua show. Now, they did tell us if you're using it, don't use flash photography. Um, if you're going to video, that's fine. Uh, however, these shows and things, I don't know the copyright on them. So, I'm going to just voice over. But like I said, I wanted to get y'all some footage of this because this was amazing. Now, the theme was ocean air. And from what I'm told, every three to four months, the different shows are switched out. And um, Royal Caribbean has about 20, 30 different cruise ship, y'all. I don't know how they keep up with all of it. So to me, the tribal uh, body paint or body suits resembled like an Aquaman type of vibe. Uh, however, what I'm impressed with and I want y'all to see is this acrobatic high diving because I watched the Olympics. That's about the only time I've seen swimming is in the Olympics and even synchronized swimming in the Olympics is one of my favorite things to watch. So just know I was geeked like a little kid on Christmas watching the show. However, this level of diving and each each acrobat diver, their bio that came up on the screen you have retired, not retired, well, Olympic divers. You have Olympic synchronized swimmers from different countries. The Pan Am Games. I mean, they are qualified. And even more importantly, I'm like, but how do you become an acrobatic diver? So where you're doing that? So take instance like the Harlem Globetrotters. They're like the Harlem Globetrotters of water. You all, everyone was amazing. And they even came out and did see this right here the handstand now this is like some circus soleil type thing but with water look how far that dive was like even the average if you can swim good i don't care this ain't your lane this is not your lane part that i miss y'all the the very very highest jump he jumped from the, he dived from the Royal Caribbean blue sign that sets all the way up at top of the ship. I was like, wow, I was floored. I'm impressed. Give it up for these guys right here. They are the rescue divers that stay underneath the water to assist them. Gentlemen, Oceania! Right here. 
sure this is going to tickle a lot of y'all. This is called the Crazy Quest Show. You divide you up in team of fives, like just to get some volunteers and get on team together. And it's the wackiest thing ever. This quest right here. You need shoelaces. How do you get them? Get people to take them out their shoe. The team holding the most shoelaces get the points. Then they had another one. Who can get five pairs of men pants? How do you get them? Get men to take off their pants. And then they had ladies try to get in the pants. And then the one that tickled me was the bra challenge, y'all. See who can get the most bras. How do you get the bras? When I tell you ladies were ripping off their bras, throwing them up there, y'all, I about died. But the ball head challenge is what took me out. Each team had to find a ball guy, get somebody to put on some lipstick, and see who had the best smudge proof lipstick. When in doubt, late nights, the rentals is going to do now. Y'all see a lot of teens out because the teen party over at 1 a.m. But yeah. Time for me to go to bed, y'all. To be continued, day four, perfect day at Coco K. Mama is tired. This is proof. This is me on the way to my room. Look, I'm in the hallway by my room, and the nightclub dazzles is by my room. <laughs>